Hey guys, welcome back to a new week and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I show you guys my weight loss journey in a vlog format showing you the ups and downs, the ins and outs of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into the video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing on the tube, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without further ado, let's get into this week's weight loss vlog. We went grocery shopping yesterday because as I told you guys last week, I ended at 222, but I did get up to 226 pounds, which is, four to six pounds I'm just like in shock four to six pounds away from being my original weight which is not what I wanted so I'm gonna show you guys our fridge because it is full with really good stuff the beer is not mine my grandma likes Samuel Adams I can't I'm not a person who likes beer generally but we have lots of fruits here um, she got more pate because she wants to make more pate we have eggs down here that we've been having. We have lots of carrots and cucumbers, mango, uh, scallions, green onions. Um, we have some veggies there. More fruit and vegetables here. Um, I'm trying to think of what, oh, avocado here. And got some prune juice to kind of help clean us out, as well as, um, you know, the normal stuff, my milk and kefir and uh, celery juice we got a lot more vegetables in here like so much vegetables some frozen as well and we have a another freezer that has some vegetables it was mainly like collard greens and stuff like that and we have some vegetables down there. We also have some spinach that we froze. She got a gigantic thing of spinach. And we also have a lot more bananas here. Um, got some oranges here. And then we have more bananas here. Um, also got some Christmas presents. Uh, came in early, got her an air fryer. Got her a new one. So yeah. It is currently 8.41, so I'm going to get started on working out. I'm going to do... The standing abs have been great. I do like them, but because they have that mat, I am going to do the ab workout that I used to do when I was in the gym. And yeah, I have a massive spot here because when I don't eat well, my face starts to break out. And as you can see, like my face is genuinely pretty clear. I have like a little tiny spot there. Um, but I just have a massive, massive spot here. It is huge. So I put some stuff on it yesterday. I did like a mask that has really been helping. Um, I'm going to film a skincare video soon to show like all the products that I use to kind of help my skin stay clear. But honestly, it really does come down to my diet. If I'm not eating clean foods I get massive spots on my face and it's so not like it's a little painful to touch um, also I before I show you guys my uh, workout I did repurchase this just to see because I didn't bring the one from home I kept it because I was like okay I'll try it in a you know a few months or whatever I had it last night and woke up I'm not noticing any dry mouth so I think it is confirmed that the dry mouth was because of the reaction of me cleaning my mask with dish soap instead of laundry detergent so this product did not cause me dry mouth in the way that I had like the the tissue on the sides of my insides of my lips like here and here kind of felt like really scratchy and so the texture was just really off so but my mouth does feel a little bit drier in the fact that I think this is going to cause me to want to drink a lot of water which I have heard that from other people who got this so I'm going to take it for this week 
um, I'm taking it before I go to bed and I did sleep really really well um, last night but it is supposed to help with I don't know if I said this but it's supposed to aid in better sleep improve your focus workout recovery reduce your cravings and alleviate stress so those are the top five benefits of alkalizing daily and it also helps give you like the minerals that you need as well um, so yeah that is what I got and uh, it has four pure four pure mineral nutrients it has calcium magnesium potassium and sodium bicarb bicarbonate so I'm trying that again I'm gonna try it for this week and see how my mouth feels to make sure that it really isn't aiding in um, mouth dryness I could just be thinking about how my mouth was dry when I had this last time and it could be having that effect on me sometimes what you believe can really affect your health um, as crazy as that sounds but it's true yeah I'm going to start my workout now I'm gonna do my own ab workout because the standing workouts have been great but I just noticed a better result when I did my own version of my ab workouts which are a lot of groundwork and yeah I'm gonna show that to you guys today and I'm going to my shoulder is doing a lot better um, it no longer hurts when I touch it like like here it's no longer hurting um, so I've iced it pretty well and I will continue icing it just to make sure because I am getting older <laughs> gotta be careful but yeah I will show you guys the workout that I do and then we will get the day started on eating oatmeal and stuff like that so another day
milk because constantly needing milk the oat milk and we're gonna get this beer because my grandma's gonna do this sweet condensed milk with the Coors Light beer and it's like a nice little dessert drink that is adult bevy so was that proper English no no it wasn't but alas, here we are. Also, I'm doing laundry, so that's the noise that you can hear. But I am going to get started with work. It feels like the Mondayest Monday today. And so many people on my team feel the same way. So I'm not alone. And that makes me feel good. But I kind of want a coffee. But I feel awake. I'm just a weird mood. And I want this spot to go away so bad. My grandma just popped out because uh, she needed to go get a few things from the grocery store because we just needed a few more things um, that we realized that we didn't get the other day. But she was talking this morning about how she wanted to make me meatballs so, and then also be able to have some cheese with it. And so um, HEB has this, has goat cheese, I think with herbs that they sell they didn't have any other dairy-free cheese which I thought was pretty typical um, for a lot of grocery stores that are not like Sprouts or Whole Foods or Trader Joe's like I just find that a lot of them don't have them Walmart does usually have goat's cheese but they don't have like a variety of other different dairy-free cheeses that I have seen but anyways she was talking about how she wants to make me meatballs and guys it smells so freaking good. I want to eat one so bad right now. She'll probably see this later and be like, I can't believe you had one. You can see the smoke coming off of it. Mmm. I dropped sauce on the floor. Oh no. Mm. They, she still she still got it guys these are meatballs that I used to eat growing up too she still makes them the same non-dairy version in coconut milk this may be controversial oh my god my freaking spot looks massive anyways this may be controversial but i hate whipping cream i also hate sprinkles they don't taste like anything i do not like them so sorry if that was really controversial but i wanted to try them because my grandma likes to have it in her hot cocoa and I, after that meal, I just had an extra meatball from what you saw, <clears throat> two extra meatballs from what you saw in my little bowl there just now. Yeah, I had one before I plated my food and then I had one immediately after I finished eating my food. And I'm thoroughly, thoroughly full and cannot eat anything else. But I was thinking like, I was thinking earlier that I wanted to have hot chocolate and that I would have put this in my hot chocolate. But because I'm very full right now, that may not happen, but I'll give it a few hours, see if my fullness kind of subsides. And the thing is, I haven't even been drinking a lot of water, and this has never really happened to me before. And I'm not entirely sure if it is the Alchemind thing. Also, my mouth is not as dry as it was this 
this morning. It was mainly like my tongue was a little bit dry. So I think it was just me thinking that, okay, my mouth is dry, my mouth is dry, causing me to have dry mouth, and then associating it with the alchemind, alchemil, the what? The alchemind mineralize powder that I took, that I showed you guys. So I'm going to take, I'm going to continue taking it for a week and we'll show you that take it before I go to bed and we'll see how I feel at the end of the week if I think this is worth it just eating a meatball and making hot chocolate right now and I'm gonna put this on top all right, so I have this in here. I'm gonna try a little bit here. Do a little taste test. Whoa, that's really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I am so serious in the fact that I hated whipped cream. Like, milkshakes thinks, I think it's, I need a little bit more because I tried dissolving it to see if it will flavor my hot chocolate, but it didn't. But this actually tastes really good, man. Because I remember how it tasted without whipped cream and it tasted like without, with, with the dairy. And I did not like it, but non-dairy coconut milk, that's fire. That's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm converted. I didn't think I would be converted, but man, I was. I also just had two more uh, meatballs. So that's all I've had today. A lot of meatballs, apparently. I, I didn't end up finishing my hot chocolate. grandma has her little sleep apnea mask on but yeah I think I didn't end up finishing my hot chocolate and I'm just gonna have a handful of grapes because why not they're just really good and it's a healthy snack so why not they're like perfect mmm My grandma used a different hot chocolate than I did, and hers came out way better. And I think it was just my milk. I didn't use the oat milk. I got this, it was by Malk, but it was the almond vanilla one. And it just curdled when warming it up, like from the get-go. Like as it was starting to get hotter, um, it just curdled, and so I had a little bit to taste it to be like, oh, maybe it's not bad. And it doesn't expire for a while. So I was just like, huh. Eh. I will stick with oat milk from now on, but my grandma tried the whipping cream with the coconut. And she's like, I'm going to have to buy this from now on. She is converted. So guys buy that whipping cream that i just showed you because it is fire ready whip the coconut one non-dairy so good anyway i'm gonna continue watching it's okay to not be okay a korean drama on netflix Still not a huge fan of the taste. I will say that. It's not my favorite, but I'm sure I'll get used to it this week. Ryan Little. <laughs>
So I thought this entire time that these um, meatballs were handmade and they're not, are they? Um, I bought them already cooked. <laughs> it's, um, what is it? It's um, beef, 100% beef. It's 100% beef. Cause I'm thinking over here, oh, she still got it making this really good stuff. Had no idea. <laughs> I saw it and I tried it one time. I said, "Man, that's the best thing going." Yeah. I, that's what I. The only thing I buy now. I don't make it unless I have a lot of time. Uh huh. Then I'll make it. Yeah, because you made them in the past before. Mm -hmm. I would make them all the time. But, but now. Yeah. But now she's just here making her pati. She's using her air fryer. I got her for Christmas. So she's only got 50 seconds on there. Not 350. It's a little handle. So she'll just pull them out when it's done. And then they come out looking like this, which is so great. And then she test that before I can use it. Yeah, then she got herself a little Instapot. So now she has all the that's what I'm gonna put the, the greens in. Uh-huh. The collar. So greens. it doesn't take forever. Yeah, you just leave it, mm -hmm. set it, and forget it, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to continue watching my Korean drama, so... <laughs> I'm going to go watch glasses. my... Glasses. Oh, yeah, my glasses right here. So this, this is yours, right? No, that's yours. I don't like that one because it has a lot of sugar. I mean, not a sugar, oh. salt. Oh, your thing is ready. It ended. Let's see what this looks like when they come out. Okay. So it's ready. Wow. That came out better. Yeah. I see the bottom. It's already cooked, so I'm not even going to bother cook the bottom. That's it. What do you think? It looks good. It looks better than this batch. Yeah. Those but look, I like it. Those look amazing. It is amazing. You made yourself some Jamaican pate. In my hair fire. My Insta fire fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see the bottom opened up. Yeah. Man. Those are hot. Careful. I'm going to wash that out. Say that. No, I don't have no boots. I got my safety boots on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. Oh, shoot. This didn't even get out there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at this. Oh, they haven't risen. No. What did you put in there? I don't know. Did you put eggs? Yeah, I put the egg in there. But you know what I did? I put it, I didn't let the 
the thing I'm gonna throw these out and do it again oh that's okay yeah I think so I can do that real quick and I know it's not that long yeah so I can do it when I get we back. have flour so yeah listen can you take me to the post <laughs> This is yours. Right. The piece of the resistance sure have, right make here. Sure you have enough for yourself. Okay. Oh, 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 it's a bomb! I, I mean, it's like I've been in a, in a, in a place. Look at <laughs> in this. a place. <laughs> in, a, in a restaurant, and they give you this stuff. Oh, it's a bomb. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to put this in the mail in one guy. Oh, my gosh. You're so funny. And now I'm going to make my hot chocolate. Having this Jamaican pate with the marinara sauce. Mm. So good. And yes, I just put this into my water bottle. So, still using it every night, like I said. She's home and she got my drink, as well as some Bill Miller's tacos. <laughs> so I'm having carnitas. Something we can't have in Colorado. No, they don't have a Bill Miller's there. I'm gonna have mine with salsa. They have good salsa here. She, and she got me a carne asada and then two potato and egg tacos. I'm gonna show you guys. So my grandma made this apple butter cake and I'm having literally the tiniest slice of it. While I take my lunch, cause I was in a meeting when I had my apples, apple slices and my grapes, my grapes. So I'm honestly still pretty like content with the tacos that I had earlier and the latte. So. Those were really good. So my grandma had like this much of the bread and then I had that much. <laughs> but she made fresh bread. So it's like not that big. It's literally the size of my hand. So not too big of a slice. And then she's had this slice and this slice so she can have, but it's all I've had. And now we have to do more stuff with the car. Um, my car is taken care of, thank God, from whom all things flow. Um, but we need to make sure that her car is taken care of. So I need to get ready now so that she can drop off her car and then she can get into my car then we can drive home and do all that stuff i also just want to say like going to the gym when i left the gym i actually felt so much better I, all i did was just walked like i wanted to go on a walk but it's pitch black outside it's freezing cold so i just thought let me go to the gym and go on the treadmill and just do a walk for 20 minutes um, and that actually made me feel so good like just because the endorphins you get after exercise and energy
Jasmine? Yes. There's the first one. Thank you. You're welcome. And the second one. Thank you. Have a good one. Likewise. Thank you. Got the orders. Ready to go back home. So I can give my grandma her coffee. I know I look crazy, but I was just sent this Innisfree Pore, Pore Clearing Clay Mask um, with super volcanic clusters. It's a wash off mask that you leave on for about two minutes. It doesn't, I mean, after 10 minutes, I don't know why I said two minutes on here. I look terrifying in the dark with this thing on. Um, that does not have a, trash bag in it so to throw it away in here but yeah so far I just put it on we shall see how this uh, how my skin responds to this but yeah I just leave this on for about 10 minutes obviously have a lot of it on here I like the way that it went on and it feels kind of cooling which I really like and kind of see supposed to like really cleanse and clear clear out your pores clean them out so I have little things of um, masks here 
Oh, I thought that was a mask. That is not a mask. I have another one. It is by Laneige or Laneige. Um, it's the Psyca Sleeping Mask, Hypoallergenic Replenishing Mask for normal to sensitive skin. I have neither of those things. I have oily combination skin, but it's very moisturizing apparently. So I would probably do this later tonight, but the Innisfree, I think that's how you say the brand's name, but the Innisfree mask is the one that I got in my little, once I did my Sephora haul, like it just came with like attached. Um, so they sent me that product with the stuff I didn't, I don't think I asked for it, so yeah, I guess it was like free samples that they just gave away in the Sephora haul thing that I recently did. So yeah, I'm keeping this on for 10 minutes and then I will wash it off and hopefully my skin does well. It's starting to tighten around my mouth a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be like the most tightening thing Ever. It feels like it's, it's going to tighten a little bit, but not too much, if that makes sense. Because usually with clay mask, I feel like by now they really start getting tight, but we'll see. But yeah, this is what I, what I look like. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday, way 220. That is uh, the weight. And yeah, so I've so I've gone down. Right now we're going to go get tested and make sure that we don't have COVID. So we said we would do this two weeks after our first test. It's technically like three, I think, or two and a half weeks. But yeah, we're getting tested this morning, so we're leaving right right now you have us taping us eating our taco something you don't get in denver colorado no we don't get not this, this good this no. is good this is good y'all you can put it closer up hold on there you go i got one. Oh, you do mm -hmm. okay i'm just gonna stack these over here then Tacos out. Oh, they do give you a lot. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they, they. This location gives you a lot. I think I'll come back out here and get me mine from that one. Mm -hmm. But the one over there, they don't do as good as these do. This mm -hmm. tastes better. Yeah. We got carne, carne, what? Carne. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ne, ne, ne. Carne asada. And carne guisada. <laughs> Say it. Carne guisada. Yes. Carne guisada. We got carne guisada tacos and potato and egg tacos. Mm -hmm. And we took our COVID test. Mm -hmm.
a quick little glass of eggnog and I'm watching two queens who like to watch on YouTube it's with Katya and Trixie it is I look forward to watching it every time a new episode comes out on YouTube it is my favorite but yeah I'm just having a little glass it's currently 220 and then I'm gonna order some sushi and maybe like an hour for dinner because I got a gift card from a friend for Grubhub so I'm gonna use it so thanks Michael and this is the silk eggnog it's really good got my burger just waiting on the fries because they're warming up they weren't as hot but burger is looking good we decided not to get sushi because it was just easier to order from one place because my grandma did not want sushi so got burgers from bj's which is out here and the burger's really good i got the bistro burger because it came with goat cheese oh carbonated drinks <clears throat> always get me no 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 come back on i'm watching startup started a new korean drama on netflix yeah i'm on episode two it's pretty good so far it's like kind of cheesy but i like it i haven't had beef in so long like a beef burger i usually always go for chicken sandwiches which is my go-to but I've ordered like food, like burgers that have had cheese on them and said no dairy and they gave me dairy anyway. And I had to scrape it off because I'm like, I spent this money on it and I need food and I'm hungry and I wanted this, but it's disappointing because it's just like, either order a burger that has no cheese. I just ordered a burger that I was like, okay, like just do not put the cheese on there. They still put it on there. And it was frustrating because I couldn't just take it back. Um, I was just like, what the heck? So this one had goat cheese on there. So I didn't have to make any substitutions. Basically, I like ordering from places where I don't have to make substitutions because it just makes it easier. I don't have to worry about them accidentally putting cheese that is made from a cow onto my food because that's happened several times where I'll go to a restaurant and I'll tell the waiter, waitress, hey, like, I have a lactose allergy. I can't have cheese that's from a cow. So they'll, like, you know, if there's, like, a salad or whatever, I'll just say, like, no cheese. And they're like, oh, is it because of an allergy? And I'm like, yes. And one time it came back with cheese, and <laughs> they put the plate in front of me, and I looked at it, and then they, like, walked away. And I was like... All that white stuff is cheese, isn't it? <laughs> I looked at my grandma and I was like, I can't eat this. Because I truly hate sending food back. Like, I, it makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like it. I'm ballsy about a bunch of other stuff, but that is one thing I'm not ballsy about. 
So I was like, well, I am paying for this and I can't eat the food because it's mixed in to the salad. So I, I literally can't do it. And they put the salad dressing that I didn't want, which was ranch because that is made with milk and I can't have it. So I whipped her down and I was just like, hey, um, I actually can't have this. It has dairy on it. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no worries. Like, it's it's fine. Um, and then they like sent it back and remade it. And then the manager came out and he's just like, we're so sorry. And I was like, no, it's, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Like, I just do my best to try to remain chill because I've been a waitress before. And I know how stressful and hard it is when you have a, a customer who is the worst when they send food back because they're being super rude and mean to you. And usually the waitress or the waiter, the person who's serve, like taking your order and putting it back, a lot of the times they're writing it down correctly. And the kitchen sometimes may mix up an order and say like, this is yours and you, especially if you have like if you're working in a restaurant where the chef is pretty demanding which I did and it wasn't even like a high-end re restaurant that I worked at it was IHOP but I worked with the head cook and like I would put my orders in correctly and he would be like this is your plate grab it and so you would grab it and you know it's busy hours so you're just rushing trying to make sure that the food is coming out hot and all together this one guy like his omelet was not hot enough or something and he was like I want you to go back there and tell that chef he's a piece of you know and I was just like I can't so I just I've dealt with like people who are just really rude and like yeah sometimes the waiter has you know the person who's serving you has an off day sometimes the cooks have an off day but like at the end of the day it is just food and there's no reason to be so mean about it to people and majority of the time how the food comes out the person who is grabbing your plate who took down your order is not making the food so it's not their fault whatsoever sometimes there's just a mix-up in the kitchen and that happens but some people can be really mean and I've just learned just tip well you know so Baskin Robbins has this non-dairy cookie dough ice cream doesn't that look so good I've been craving ice cream so much guys the past several days and my grandma was like are you starting your period soon and I was like, oh yeah, it's been a while since the Red Plague has uh, come upon me. Unreal. But before I continue watching my Korean drama, it is the startup that I started watching. I am going to let you know that the Get Off Your Acid, this acid kicking minerals, did not give me dry mouth. So I'm assuming what gave me dry mouth the last time was the fact that I washed my mask with dish soap and also a combination of my water filter no longer working and probably the water that was from the tap giving me a reaction so I do not think it was the get off your acid because I it's not that I do not think I know it wasn't because the get off your acid would have given me dry mouth this week and I did not get that so I feel very confident and okay continuing to take this supplement and yeah I am going to continue taking it. I forgot to take it last night because um, it was just really late and I wanted to go to bed instead of drink water because when I drink water, I have to go to the bathroom 30 minutes afterwards. So I was just like, I'm not going to do it. But I haven't drank a lot of water today. So, and it's only about like eight something, 8.15 I think. 
So I'm gonna drink a lot more water and make sure that I have the get off your acid because I did have some ketchup with my fries as you guys saw. But I ended this week at 220, so I've gone down, which is great. Um, and today's cheat meal, you know, burger and fries with some ice cream. Although I did have some applesauce bread, you could consider that dessert. Who knew that this year would be the way it is, but it is the way that it is, and that's fine. <laughs> um, so I... I'm going to love you and leave you here. And if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking around. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Telling me this is a sign She's looking in my eyes And I don't see no other guy